friend Sheila here. I am a nutritionist and nature lover currently cycling my way across Europe. I am at the very end of my three and a half month cycle tour from Scotland to Croatia. And in my last video, I talked about my hardest day of my tour. If you haven't watched that yet, I will link it above and below and just generally places click things. If you watch the video, you will know that my hardest day of my tour was the day I cycled from Slovenia to Croatia. So I decided to film this video about cycling in Croatia as a whole to talk about whether things went up after that very challenging first day. If you are planning on cycling Croatia for yourself and you are watching this video because you want all those nitty gritty details like where I cycled and where I stayed and all those little helpful facts for planning a trip, I won't discuss those little details in this video. I will put them over on my website, sheiladaily.com. I'll put a link to that below. But in this video, I will talk more about my experience cycling Croatia as a whole. So you can watch this and then go find all those details. So an overall picture of my experience cycling Croatia. Did I enjoy it? Well, let's start with the things I loved about cycling Croatia. One, I love the nature in Croatia. I spent a lot of time on very quiet, peaceful roads, just cycling through very rural areas, villages, open stretches of land, mountains in the distance. I went to the Kirka National Park and the Pilatvisi Lakes National Park, both of which are absolutely gorgeous. They're both just lakes and waterfalls. So stunning. I think I might actually do a whole video on those national parks. So if you're interested in that, leave me a little comment below. If you aren't familiar with the layout of Croatia, it basically has this kind of inland part and then a big coast or I guess for film purposes, I guess it's kind of land and then coast, mirror image. I'll put a map or something. So what I ended up doing, I cycled from Slovenia to Bizet and then over to Pula. I took a ferry from Pula to Zadar and then I cycled all the way down the coast. Croatia has so much coastline, so there is so much turquoise water and beautiful rock formations and cliffs and mountains. Honestly, I was just awestruck all the time with how beautiful it was. The second thing I loved about Croatia is the weather. I've been here end of September, early October, which is technically Croatia's off season. The busiest times are July and August, and so being here at this time of year, one, there are a lot fewer people. There are still a lot of people, but there are fewer people. The weather is still perfect. I've had like two days of rain, and other than that, it's just been sun, 22 to 27 degrees, like absolutely gorgeous, very comfortable, sunny, beautiful weather. The third thing I have loved about my time in Croatia is the people I have met. I've met lovely people everywhere I've gone through Croatia, but there is one family that really sticks with me because on my ride to Split, due to a series of unfortunate circumstances, I ended up cycling much later in the day than I like to and as it started to get into the evening, I started kind of keeping an eye out for backup plans in case I couldn't make it to Split. And I saw this woman get out of a car with her young son at a house and so I kind of Put that away in my mind as okay maybe I can go back and ask them for help if I need it and as I was riding I got to this busy road it was pitch black and I had my lights on my bike but I just didn't feel safe getting onto this busy road so I decided to go back to this house and it was the woman I had seen and her two kids and her parents so the grandparents and I explained what had happened and I just asked them if I could put up my tent in their yard and they said to me, but it's cold out. You shouldn't be out in your tent. Come stay in our guest room. So they showed me to their guest room and their bathroom and they gave me cake because it was one of the son's birthday parties. And they honestly just welcomed me like a member of the family and made me feel just so safe and taken care of. It was just one of the most beautiful moments of my trip. So I'll be forever grateful to them and just so blessed to have had that experience. The fourth reason that I love Croatia is there are so many beautiful towns and cities. There is so much history here. 
Croatia has an incredibly complex history and I think it's a really important one to learn about. I was really grateful for the opportunity while cycling to see so many of the cities and towns within Croatia and to learn about all the history there. So those are some of the many reasons that I have loved cycling in Croatia. What have I not loved as much? I guess one thing would be the hills. Croatia is very hilly. It has mountains. Even if you go to the coast, uh, do not expect the coast to be flat. It is still very hilly. But what I will say is that with each of those hills, you do get some really beautiful views. Croatia is full of mountains and lakes and coast. So if you're climbing, it will likely be worth it. You will get to see something really beautiful at the end of that climb. The second thing I would say is that Croatia really doesn't have any cycling infrastructure. And that was something I was aware of going into it. I had chatted with some people who had cycled in Croatia and they did mention that. It's explained to me that there were basically two options. You could either take the coast road, which basically connects all the towns and cities along the coast. So it's a pretty direct route, but it is very busy and the speed limits are on the higher end because it is the main connection between all those cities. So there are a lot of cars and trucks and buses on that road. I did need to take that road for probably the last about a hundred kilometers to Dubrovnik. I did find cars pretty good about giving me enough space, but I found buses and trucks to not be as generous with how much space they would leave me as a cyclist. And so that I did find a little nerve wracking and would generally recommend to avoid the coast road when you can. The second option that was mentioned to me was to basically island hop. So there are so many islands in Croatia and you could basically take a ferry to an island, cycle the island, take a ferry to the next island, that kind of thing. But because I was there in the off season, the ferries start running a lot less frequently. So some ferries will only run maybe twice a week and that kind of put me at risk of getting stuck on an island. Granted, it's an island in Croatia, so hardly the end of the world, but I ended up actually opting for secret option number three, which was to actually go more inland. I used two apps, uh, Kamut and Maps.me, to give me ideas about routes I could take that kind of went a little more inland. And I found that even if we're going from city to city along the coast, often there would be a route that went a little more inland that would mean a bit of a longer day and sometimes more climbing. But I kind of preferred that to have that little bit of quiet over being on the busy roads all the time. That meant I had some days on pretty much completely empty roads. And I connected with a cyclist from Denmark and she and I cycled a bunch of Croatia together and we would just cruise down these empty stretches of road. She had a speaker so we would just kind of play fun music and just ride sun shining, nature everywhere, mountains in the distance. It was absolutely gorgeous, so peaceful. Those days were some of my favorite of this trip for sure. So in summary, did I enjoy cycling Croatia? I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I fell in love with Croatia. I fell in love with cycling around Croatia. I cannot think of a better place to have ended my tour. It's just sunshine and turquoise beaches and amazing people and so much nature. It's an absolutely wonderful place. As I said, if you are planning a cycle trip of Croatia, I'll put all those details of what I did over on my website, sheiladaily.com. That way that can maybe help you put together your own beautiful cycling trip around Croatia, which I'm so excited and a little bit jealous of you because I already want to do it again. If you like this video, please give it a like, it really supports my channel. And if you wanna be notified whenever I put out new videos, hit subscribe and the little bell below. Thanks, have a good one, bye.